If you've ever stared in awe and envy at the muscular bodies of chimpanzees, then firstly, you've been waiting for this video, and secondly, there might be something wrong with you. I myself am also very impressed by the strength and musculature of some primates. It is said that an adult gorilla, which weighs around 200 kilograms, can bench press 1,800 kilograms. In various zoological articles, it is also often mentioned that the animal can lift about a ton. As you know, it is very difficult to draw conclusions from such limited information. However, based on the gorilla's performance data, I personally assume that it is about lifting a ton overhead. On the other hand, it doesn't really matter. Compared to us, apes are simply enormously strong, and judging by their physique, some of them can even be extremely muscular and athletic. This becomes particularly clear in the photos of the bald chimpanzees. What immediately catches the eye are the disproportionately broad shoulders and the rounded shoulder blades. Other photos also show the disproportionately prominent back muscles. It is immediately assumed that the degree of development of these areas is due to the ape's way of life and their non-upright posture. But that's not the only thing you can envy a chimpanzee for, especially if you're on a longer cycle. A chimpanzee's scrotum looks like it's filled to the brim with treasures. A single testicle appears to be at least as big as a clenched fist. The size of a chimpanzee's entire scrotum can even be comparable to the size of a slim human's face. When I researched the exact size of the chimpanzee's testicles for you, I found the information that the whole package weighs 170 grams without the sack. In contrast, the testicles of a generously equipped man do not even weigh more than 50 grams. I won't even mention the testicles of men who go through a steroid cycle and don't use stimulants. And now let's consider the fact that the chimpanzee is almost twice as small as a human. Males weigh between 50 and 60 kilograms. So they have much larger pouches with much less body weight. Does this mean that we have just discovered the secret of chimpanzee strength? To be as strong as a chimpanzee, you have to have balls as heavy as a bag of cooked rice. In the 1920s, a scientist from Russia who was fascinated by chimpanzee balls was active in the then unregulated healthcare sector. Sergei Voronov implanted them into his aging patients to give them more strength and extend their lives. You could even say that he was one of the pioneers of hormone replacement therapy and doping. Reportedly, Voronov's first patient, who already had one foot on the other side, conquered Mont Blanc on his own after being implanted with a new pair of nuts. According to reports, many of the richest and most famous personalities of the time benefited from the crazy scientist's method. However, this method did not prove to be revolutionary, and its effectiveness was soon questioned. Today's science already knows exactly why. The average testosterone concentration in the blood of a chimpanzee is 400 nanograms per deciliter. In humans, the norm ranges from 250 in older people to 800 nanograms per deciliter in young and generously gifted men. The level that chimpanzees reach is therefore very similar to that of humans. Chimpanzees are also not significantly stronger than us. They are stronger, but not as strong as many of us think. In fact, until recently, the myth persisted that their strength is four times that of humans. This was disproved by Dr. O'Neill from the University of Arizona. In fact, the strength of chimpanzees measured during tasks such as pulling a load or jumping is up to one and a half times greater than that of humans. To be more precise, according to the computer simulations made at the time, these differences are more often values of 1.35. The muscle fibers of chimpanzees were also analyzed and the following correlations with ours were found. Firstly, contrary to previous theories, the force of muscle contraction in chimpanzees is by no means greater than in humans, and the speed is not different either. However, the fibers themselves are longer than in humans, and the dominant type is different. Compared to us, chimpanzees have more than twice the proportion of fast-twitch muscle fibers. This allows them to climb trees, fight, or jump more effectively. In their natural habitat, chimpanzees do not travel long distances, and most of their activities primarily require a certain amount of strength. Jumping from tree to tree or even participating in rank battles for herd leadership are not long activities, but are often of extremely high intensity. In our case, the shorter and slower muscle fibers probably evolved due to the upright posture and the need to cover longer distances. This was probably also influenced by the large area that primitive man required for hunting. It required the ability to chase animals for long periods of time, to see beyond the sword and possibly to escape efficiently. 
Such adaptive mechanisms have led to another important variable. According to evolutionary anthropologist Alan Walker of Penn State University, the secret of primate strength lies not only in the muscles themselves and their structure. The nervous system and the way in which the spinal cord of apes was formed also plays an important role. Compared to humans, it is characterized by a relatively low proportion of gray substance. This leads to a lower number of motor neurons and thus to less neuronal control of muscle movements. In humans, it is the other way round. We have many more motor neurons, which gives us much greater brain control over muscle contraction and function. This allows us to use them effectively for precision work. As well as the ability to produce tools, we have also improved our ability to use them. To do this, we had to develop the ability to perform movements that are often very subtle and delicate. Chimpanzees, on the other hand, often have to use their whole body to complete a task. And the last point is nutrition. How can a gorilla build up 200 kilograms of body weight if it mainly eats fruit and leaves? You might also wonder where the protein is in all this. You might not see it on all-inclusive holidays or among some strongmen or bodybuilders, but compared to apes, we have a smaller and more compact digestive system. Gorillas and chimpanzees are able to digest cellulose. This is because the parasites in their gut, the troglodytes, enable them to do so. Interestingly, primates in captivity gradually lose these parasites when they are fed heat-treated food. There is also the question of the size of the digestive system. The gorilla, like the cow, has to eat practically all the time. Its natural environment is also a kind of a pasture. A team of researchers from the University of West England has demonstrated a correlation between the weight of the apes and the amount of fruit and condensed food consumed. Small monkeys, such as marmosets and tamarins, favor insects. Their digestive system is adapted to small amounts of very protein-rich food. Later, the proportion of plant food gradually increases in relation to body size. In addition to insects, chimpanzees also include small mammals in their diet. However, the amount is relatively small compared to the plant-based food. In howler monkeys or gorillas, on the other hand, the proportion of insects in their diet is around 1%, with the rest consisting of leaves, roots, tree bark, and other things that your stomach cannot digest.